Hi, how's it going? Dalaran here. I'm pretty sure by now some of you guys have taken a look at some of the YouTube videos floating around where people talked about, oh hey, there's this extra trait that this ad that wasn't going to be used in PvP. All of a sudden Blizzard decided to enable it in 715 and people might have gotten one shot. Are we on heels? I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, we're, we're always on funny yeah, maps. Alright, 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 right, yeah. Look who the druid is though. No, 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 heal, okay, heal, think, heal, 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 okay, heal, okay, heal, heal, Oh, okay, okay. I'm rooted. You've got, you've got, you've got fire. He's just dead. I soloed him. <laughs> That's why we go heals. <laughs> You're thinking too much. Because if somebody has, let's say, fully filled up their artifact weapon, fully built it up and cannot upgrade it anymore, then technically that person, let's say their DPS character, is dealing flat 15% more damage. So this was like, wow, that is crazy, that is insane. So somebody who's been doing a ton of PvE, let's say, did every single mythic run, built up the weapon fully, kind of like how, let's say, Asmongold, because he did uh, uh, get his weapon full. Let's say Asmongold got himself full, and he goes into BG, he goes in, pops all the buffs to buff up Mortal Strike, slams someone down for, let's say, 2 million damage all of a sudden. It's like, what did this happen? I basically got one shot. This happened, and Blizzard disabled it fairly quickly, and good on them. I feel like it's very exciting that we have this extra trait and the fact that Blizzard stated they eventually want to enable it as part of PvP. And I'm very happy about it because then it allows players that are PvPing to keep progressing the weapon and not feel like, oh, for PvP that progression stops at one point and then you don't really have anything else to do. So the fact that PvPers will still be able to take advantage of this in the future is awesome in my opinion. Because then it doesn't make this whole artifact weapon thing exclusive to PvE players. But it allows basically any player to use it ever. But it's a good thing that Blizzard decided to nerf this and um, disable it before the end of Season 2 and just let it be off for the rest of Season 2. Because they themselves sta stated, and uh, you know, this, I just gotta say, thank you, Blizzard, for doing the right thing. This is awesome, mainly because, and this is what they said, it would just balance the current matter of the season, and we already had class changes happening, so. To completely flip the tables and allow people that do have a inherent advantage over others. Where they did say it in Legion originally as they sold it, they want to make an expansion where gear makes little difference. Well here, if they were to keep that trait up, it wouldn't be gear that makes a difference, but literally weapons. I mean, how would you feel if let's say you are a warrior, right? You have your weapon fully built up, you were told that your extra trait would never be used for PvP or nothing, and you have a bunch of AP lying around, but you decide to queue a BG with 715 and you're like, I want to test out my warrior damage. Let's check it out. And then there's another guy next to you, uh, let's say Asmongold, and there he is doing 15% more damage because he's been farming that AP non-stop like a monster. How does that make you feel? When you were told that, hey, artifact trait, the second extra, the passive deal, that doesn't even apply in PvP, and all of a sudden it does, and there's a warrior literally beating your damage. Or, let's say they're on the other side, and then the one whooping you. So, I mean, I could definitely see why players would feel bad and feel gypped. It's a good thing that they disabled it for this season. Plus, they also stated that they're going to be doing more with artifact power and art artifact weapons, artifact traits, and they eventually want to enable it for PvP. Which again is awesome. I am all aboard in that boat. Because I honestly think when you add progression and when it reflects in PvP, then it just makes you feel like, wow, there's actually a purpose for doing this for PvP. Because in the past, I guess, uh, a lot of people, and me included, felt that, oh, wow, this is kind of lame. I will never be able to use it for PvP. What is the point? Uh huh. I, you know, just, it did feel a little bit bad and maybe a little bit even bittersweet, but. You know, it's just the fact that they are eventually going to enable it makes me very excited for the future in terms of PvP. But otherwise than that, I think this is wrapping up for me just talking a little bit about it. So if you saw that people are running around with that legendary 35th trait and they have it stacked up to full, don't worry about it. You have the rest of the season to just chill and let it go and we're not really that far into season 2. But start farming up that AP into whatever favorite spec you have or whatever spec you think you'll be doing for PvP if you are going to be doing PvP in Legion because the better that spec is in the future the more damage you'll be able to do in the future and the faster you'll be able to catch up and if you're somebody who is wants to just completely let's say you wanted to stop playing rogue you don't like the changes change your class get them up to speed get them the gear they need and start farming that AP with 715 they added a feature where you can get on your main and send the research knowledge which is supposed to be fixed because it has some bugs and issues with it you know day one patch drops and surprising that this is all we really had for bug, uh, bug fixes there is some add-on issue with gladius but that's really about it like it's actually been pretty minor 
in my honest opinion. Uh, so, <laughs> plus we have content. So like, let's say in World of General, we got a minor patch and there was bugs there. Here we actually got content and there's only a few bugs. It's, it's pretty exciting. It's a good time to be alive playing Legion. But yeah, get your research onto your alt characters, start leveling them, start getting them gear, start grinding the AP for them, start doing the world quests, just QBGs, do a dungeon a day just to get your artifacts to your weapon, and just start farming the stuff. It's actually pretty fun and exciting to know that we'll actually be able to use that in the future. And for the longest time I was thinking, oh, you know, I'm in a PvE guild, I'm, in a, I'm doing PvP, I got my Outer Rogue weapon fully decked out, and I guess I got points into it, but my guild could use some single target DPS for assassination and now it's like forget it I'm just gonna get one passive trait for assassination now the rest are gonna go to outlaw and even if it takes me the whole time even if I have to nerf my own DPS I will start playing outlaw for PvE I will farm that legendary bracers that are basically required to have I'm basically required to have a legendary for outlaw to do DPS but we'll see how it comes out in a raid tomorrow because I have a raid tomorrow we're gonna be hitting to or HOV uh, trial of valor honor of valor. we're basically gonna get to Helia see if we can down her on heroic by the end of the week and then next week we're gonna hit up night Nightwell? no 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 it's night hold no uh, Shalaran. Oh, I can't remember the raid, but anyway, guys, this has been it for me talking a little bit about the passive for PvP and my thoughts on it. So, if you guys were afraid that the passive was going to ruin the game, please pocket your, uh, I guess, negative comments and uh, complaints because the good guys, Blizzard, they know exactly what's up. They don't want to just bounce the season and they're trying to do the very best that they can in order to give you guys a great experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see all of you in the next one.